some more booze. Do you know? Yeah. My plea hearing's in two hours. Look at me, Jim. I, I can't even see straight. Well, I might not have any more left. Come on, don't mess me about. I've none left, I told you. Yeah, but surely you, you can get some. Aye, oh, maybe. OK. I've got it. What do you want me to do? Stop treating me like an optic. That's what you have to do, Peter. Come in. Have a chat. We're supposed to be friends. Hey? Look, how are you going to plead? <laughs> well, I wouldn't advise doing that in court, Peter. No. All right, then. Look at me. I'm the judge. So how does the defendant plead? Guilty? <laughs> really? Just seems the best option. Uh-huh. So you did kill that wee girl? No, of course not. Well, that's what you're telling the world. Damage limitation. Damage to who? My family. Right, who's going to be there to see you? And hopefully make you change your mind. They'll think I'm guilty anyway. Because you're determined not to have a solicitor. I've done some research into what you can expect stop. this just, afternoon. Just stop. I don't need you to hold my hand, Dad, please. Well, you're aware it's an open court? I mean, we'll be there, obviously, but there may be other people in the gallery. <laughs> yeah, shouting, hanging. No. Like Deirdre. Or my sister. They're only concerned for your welfare. They think I'm guilty. I'll tell you this. They're going to be delighted with my plea. You can't. Huh? Already made me mind up. But Peter, you're innocent. OK, I'll finish Peter, it. sit down. Peter! Hey, Jim, did, did you uh, manage to get any booze? Shut up. Oh, come on, look, Jim, shut I just up. need a drink. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Sit down. Go on, sit down. Right, you listen to what I have to say and then maybe I can find you a drink. You say you're pleading guilty to limit the damage, hmm? Yeah, that's right. Damage to who? I've told you, Jim, to be family. Oh, see, so you want your wee Simon to grow up thinking his daddy is a murderer? Is that the crack? He already thinks that. Oh, right. So you're just going to give in like a coward, is that it? Hmm? Everybody thinks it, so I might as well be it. Well, it's a good job you don't love him, so it is. What did you say? Well, given the fact you're going to spend your rest of your life in here, it's a good job you don't care, isn't it? He's the most important thing in my life, Jim. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Well, in that case, you should be fighting tooth and nail to prove your innocence, so you should. For what? So they can make a fool of me in court and send me down for life anyway? Huh? Listen to me, Peter. Now I know what it's like to lose your kids, to have your birthday card sent back to you unopened. I know what it's like to know you'll never see your granddaughter growing up to spend all day looking at a load of old photographs because you know that's the only thing you've got. Now that, my friend Peter, that there is a life sentence. Guilty or not guilty, that is the question. The time to go to court. Do -do 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 Boom. Come on, get a move on. Well, what's it going to be? Well, now, tell us the worst. Did what you said. Not guilty? Yeah. So thanks for that. It's a good advice. Well, you did the right thing. You have to have something to aim for. You need a goal in this place, so you do. I need more than that, Jim. I keep telling you, there's no magic drink seller in here, you know? Uh, unless you want it for yourself, eh? There is a limited supply, Peter. You know, if you're going to survive in here, you're going to have to learn some self-control. Oh, Cut the self-improvement, blind who will you? How do you think I've managed to keep so strong? By using your muscle to get what you want, that's how. You have to learn to be patient, Peter. Do you know what kind of day I've had? Yes, I do. And so does everybody else in here. So join the club. OK, I'm begging you. Shut up. Or there will be no truth. I could be in here for years. I won't be able to survive without the drink. Please, Jim. Look, I told you, Peter, I'll help you through this as and when I can. Besides, 
It's not very often you bump into an old face in a place like this, so it's not. You and me have got a lot in common, so we have. Like same street, hmm? Most cut off from the women and children we love. A fella like you needs all the friends he can get in a place like this. Besides, one day you might be able to repay the favour. I don't see how I can do that. Time to return to yourself, please. Oh, there you are now. Time for bed. You sleep tight, Peter.